they control me They don't know what they mean They ain't up on my feet They just watch me Light them up Fired up the stresses, know this they control me What's up bros, this is Jason Today I'm going to be showing you all how to tie up a Kentucky rig this is probably my favorite catfishing rig to use while catfishing. It's very simple and very easy to tie up. It allows you to change out your sinker and your hook without even having to retie the rig. So if you're fishing a river and you need a heavier sinker, you can do that without having to retie. Before we get started with this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and drop some comments down below. Let us know what your favorite catfishing rig is or what is your favorite catfishing bait to use. Let's get started with this. Boom. All right. So the first thing you wanna do is find some good lead line. This is 80 pound mono line. It's gonna be pretty good for the catfish. Pretty thick, pretty heavy. So we're gonna pull some of this out. We're gonna create a loop at the end right here, like so. Now we're gonna do a figure eight knot. So a figure eight knot is basically just flipping it around and making an eight in itself like that and then you're going to pull this loop back through you want this end loop to be kind of big because this is where your sinker is going to go tie it tight like that cut this excess off and now to get the sinker on all you got to do is bend this loop a little bit stick it through the hole of the sinker bring it back around the sinker and pull it tight. Now this makes it really easy to exchange sinkers. So if you're gonna fish a river and you need a heavier sinker or you're gonna fish a lake and you need a lighter sinker, all you gotta do is slide it back out. Boom. Pretty easy to exchange sinkers. Boom. So now we're gonna go up about a foot up our line or whatever you prefer and we're gonna make a dropper loop. So, dropper loop is basically, you're gonna make it, you're gonna cross the line over on itself like this. And the longer this is right here, the further your bait's gonna stick out. So this is where your hook's gonna go. So if you make it longer, you want it to be about six inches, maybe a little more. So after you loop it, over each other like this get your length right you're gonna take the line and you're gonna twist it so one two three i normally do three times you can do four or five we'll go ahead and do five just to show you all and then now, once you get that twisted, see how it's twisted up right here? We're going to go through this hole, grab that excess line, pull it through like that. The longer we make this, the longer it's going to stick out from the actual lead. So, I'm going to make it kind of long. About six inches right there. And then all you got to do is Pull it tight. I'm gonna use my mouth. Boom. So now this is a dropper loop. See what it looks like right there? So basically we just looped itself through it. Boom. So the same thing with the sinker. All you gotta do is bend this loop a little bit. Stick it through the eye of the hook right here like that loop it back over the hook and pull it through and there you go it's on there if you want to exchange hooks loop it back out pull it out pretty simple pretty easy stick it back through there real quick now we're going to be moving up so I go about probably another six inches, maybe a little more depending on how you like it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right here. And then we're gonna get a swivel. We're gonna tie it on. Right. So once you got a good swivel, I forgot to grab it. This is a 80 pound swivel. Um, you wanna just tie it on to the end of this lead. However you really wanna tie it, doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you all a palmer knot real quick. So you're gonna take the end of your line, make a loop like this. Bring it through the hole, like so. Now that you got the loop right there, you're gonna make a kind of a figure eight knot. So you got the eight right there. Boom. You're gonna take this loop, bring it back through. And then you're gonna take the loop that you brought back through and bring it around the swivel. Like that. And now what you're gonna do is wet it down real good. And then tighten it up. I had to use my mouth for this probably. Yeah. Watch this. Oh, buddy. The polymer knot's a little bit harder to do with this thick mono, but. It is possible. And that's kind of what it's going to look like right there. And then you just want to trim off this excess. Boom. So now it's nice and tight. You got your swivel. You can tie that on to your, your rod. Go down the line, you got your hook right here, and you got your sinker. So this is a Kentucky rig right here. Got your sinker, got your hook, you got your swivel. It's pretty easy to exchange these out right here. So put your bait right here and it's kind of off the ground a little bit. It's a pretty good little rig. That's a Kentucky rig. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all the love and support. Peace.